वेलकम स्टूडेंट्स लेट एस दिस क्वेश्चन दिस क्वेश्चन से इज फाइंड द सम ऑफ रियल सॉल्यूशन ऑफ द इक्वेशन दिस वी हैव दिस इक्वेशन एंड वी हैव टू फाइंड द सम ऑफ द रियल सॉल्यूशन फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी हैव टू फाइंड इट्स सॉल्यूशन दिस इज वन ऑफ द वे दैट यू फाइंड इट्स रियल सॉल्यूशन और यू कैन से फर्स्ट फाइंड इट्स सॉल्यूशन देन चेक इज इट रियल और नॉट If it is real, then find the sum. This is the first method. Second method, you can directly find the sum of real solution if it is possible. So I am uh, going to uh, solve this question with the first approach that I will first find its solution, then I will check is it real or not, then I will find its sum. So first of all, how I can solve this? This type of question is important for your examination because uh, log, anti-log. kind of uh, questions asked frequently so see first of all uh, as i can see you can make equal base see here it's root under 2 here 2 you know root 2 square is 2 so i can modify this see this 2 raised to power x can be written as root under 2 whole square it becomes 2 and then power x Minus this can be written as root under two raised to power x into root under two raised to power six plus twelve as it is. We have used two properties here. First, that see root under two raised to power x plus six can be written as root over two raised to power x into root over two raised to power six. we know when the base is equal and uh, numbers are in multiplication so exponents gets added so you will get the same expression and in the first i have done this root under 2 square raised to power x so root over 2 square that becomes 2 again and that's the x so both are the same this is the first step in the second step what i will do i am going to let Root over two raised to power x is equals to a new variable that is the t. Let us suppose we can assume this. This is the t. So what we will do? See one more property we have to use here. See you you know you can exchange the powers also. What I am trying to say? I am trying to say that you write root over two square raised to power x. or you can write root over 2 raised to power x and then square power raised to power gets multiplied power raised to power gets multiplied so both are same so i am going to write step wise manner in a step wise manner so i am going to write root 2 raised to power x whole square minus root 2 raised to power x into we can find its value what is the root over 2 raised to power x we can use it uh, we can use the law of exponents root 2 is 2 raised to power 1 by 2 and whole power 6 power raised to power gets multiplied so this will be 2 raised to power 1 by 2 into 6 so that's the 3 so 2 raised to power 3 that's the 8 so you will get 8 here plus 12 as it is equals to 0 what's the next see next uh, i have assumed that root over t raised to power x is equals to t so i will substitute my uh, this assumption so this will comes t square this is my t root over 2 raised to power x is t so t square minus 8t plus 12 is equals to 0 this becomes a quadratic in t now i can solve this so let us try to solve so i have t square minus 8t plus 12 is equals to 0 so i can uh, split the middle term so it can be split it as minus 60 minus 2t plus 12 is equals to 0 taking t as a common t minus 6 taking minus 2 as a common t minus 6 is equals to 0 so we will get t minus 6 and t minus 2 is equals to 0 so from here we are getting t is equals to 6 and t is equals to 2 now we have to find x what is the t 
t was root over 2 raised to power x is equals to 6 first case and this is root over 2 raised to power x is equals to 2 see it is what 2 raised to power 1 by 2 and whole power x that's the 2 right both side has equal base that is the 2 so this is 2 raised to power x by 2 power raised to power gets multiplied and this side 2 it has power 1 so equal base both side and numbers are equal so when we compare power must be equal so x by 2 should be equals to 1 so x is equals to 2 is it real yes it's a real solution so I will take this now let us see its other part so again see what I am see I can write this as 2 raised to power x by 2 is equals to 6 now how I can solve that's the concern I can take log both side with base 2 taking log with base 2 both side this question has application of log in detail so I am going to take log 2 please follow the color coding this is the base and base 2 and uh, we have to find the log of 2 raised to power x by 2 should be equals to log 2 both side and 6 so now I can use the property of log this x y 2 will come outside so this will be x y 2 this will become log 2 log 2 is equals to log 2 and 6 log 2 log 2 base and exponent will be same then it will become 1 so x by 2 is equals to log 2 6 so what will be x so x will be equals to 2 times log 2 6 we can add this is a real yes this is a real log 2 6 is real so we can add this solution and this solution so what we are getting right now we are getting x is equals to 2 plus 2 log 2 6 let us check the option this is a x1 plus x2 I am go going to uh, add both the roots see I think there is no option in log 6 see when you will check the option there is no any option with log 6 yes I have some possibility in log 3 as you can see option number E and option number F then I will again think uh, on my solution then how I can convert this into log 3 so let us try to do so 2 plus 2 I can write this log 2 this 6 can be written as 2 into 3 I think there should be no in problem in this so now we can use the log property when this is in multiplication gets converted into addition so 2 plus 2 is going to log 2 2 plus log 2 and 3 and again log 2 2 will be 1 so this is going to be 2 plus 2 1 plus log 2 3 when I will multiply and do the simplification this will be multiplied by this this will be multiplied by this simply distributive rule so 2 plus 2 2 log 2 and 3 so this will become 2 plus 2 that become 4 plus 2 log of 2 3 now check the option is it correct or not 4 2 log 2 3 4 2 log 2 3 yes I think this option F see 4 2 log 2 3 this is the correct answer uh, right so students I hope you have understood this question so if you like this question and solution please like this video and subscribe this channel for such more question for Shivnadar University test. Thank you. Thanks for watching.